In this video, I'm going to show some examples of how to locate and identify integers on a number line. Remember that an integer is just a positive or a negative whole number. On question one, number one, it says what integer is represented by the point on the number line. Anytime you're using a number line, the first thing you need to do is determine what the interval of the number line is. Basically what that means is what is it counting by. The easiest way to determine that is to count how many jumps it takes to get from 0 to 10. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 jumps to get there, which means each jump was a jump of 1. That tells us that this number line is counting by 1s. So the point on the number line, which is right here, is one hole, two holes, which is choice A. Question two, if we compare the number lines uh, in question two to the one in question one, we can see that it's divided in exactly the same way. So we're counting by ones. We just need to find the integer negative six. We're going to go backwards, six jumps, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is choice A, point N. And number three, uh, this is a compacted number line. But if we quickly count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, it really is the same as our previous number lines. It is counting by 1s. So we need to plot negative 2, which means we're going to go back 2 jumps, 1, 2. So this point right here would be negative 2.